Oh my gosh, I got this as a spawn point? That's possible? <gasps> Hello gamers, welcome to five underrated guns part five. I haven't made one of these in a while So if you guys missed the series make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that you actually are enjoying these The first gun on this list is going to go to the mp7. I'm done. I'm done with the hate for this gun It's not bad. Yeah, it's not the best gun people always say oh, it's just the worst p90 First off it shoots 50 rpm faster and does more damage and if you put hollow points on it It can three hit which the p90 cannot do that it, ca it can't it literally can't it does 25 max I believe it also has a faster walk speed and a little bit faster reload. I think that the only gripe here is probably just the reload. The accuracy on this thing is also super good. Like, the recoil is so low compared to the P90, which the P90 is not the worst recoil, but it's pretty wavy. I know, because I have like 1,200 P90 kills. Don't get me wrong. I like the P90. But just straight up saying that this is just a worse P90, it's just, it's not true. It even has the extended mag, but I don't really recommend it. You have so little reserve and your reloads kind of suck. It, it's just like, it, it's kind of a weird attachment for me because most extended mags I say, yep, use it, but not on this one. I don't know. Yes, it has a 30 round capacity and the P90 has a 50, but like other than that, the P90 does have that more pen, but this thing also has a decent amount of pen. So it's like 1.7 versus two studs. Perhaps it's not the best gun, but this is definitely, at this point, it's underrated just because, like, I think Pajama PF made a video on don't use the MP7 or something, and then everybody's just hating on the MP7 now, and the MP7's my baby. You can't hate on this thing. So I went to a different map because that match ended. I think this is enough of the MP7, but listen, give this thing a go, at least, all right? Don't just say, Ugh, my favorite YouTuber, Pajama PF, he told me that this one was bad, so I'm not gonna use it. I feel like it does need, like, a reload time buff but like other than that it is a super super good gun and definitely underrated now that people think it's bad so please give it a go but next up we have actually two dmrs but let's get into the first one the msg 90 ever since i made my like reviewing the g3s video people keep commenting about this gun people actually it's like a commenter favorite i guess so comment if you're excited that this is actually in a underrated guns video now this thing is uh it's really good like honestly it shoots faster than a Mark 11. It has a 110 stud one hit to the head range, and it can two hit limb to that same distance. But after that, it's like, it doesn't do the most torso damage as a 1.1 times torso multi, which isn't really that good, but it does have a two times headshot multi, which is super sick. You know, look at that. If you hit those headshots, it still does like 80 headshot damage LRC. And it can two hit to the limbs to pretty far. Dude, it is kind of insane though. As the underrated guns go, like this isn't, it's not the best gun. It doesn't have very good magazine capacity recoil. Uh, the irons aren't the best. I like them a decent amount, but they're not the best. And in LRC, like the damage is good, but it's pretty much a three hit, except if you hit a headshot, which you know, that's not really the best for a DMR that kind of functions like this. Oh, like Scar SSR, you know? Scar SSR, when you consider this one to the Scar SSR, the Scar SSR does like 84 torso all ranges. It does an insane amount of torso damage. Compared to this one's like 44, it's not really the best, but it can two hit if you hit one headshot and one limb or torso. I guess we can put a Z point on here. Oh my gosh, I got this as a spawn point? That's possible? <gasps> oh. 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 That was so far. Yeah, th this, uh, even with the Z point, you know, like Z point, not very good for DMRs, but you know how it be. Sometimes you just gotta use uh, Z point on a DMR. I kind of want to make a video about this. It's such a funny gun and I really like it. Does it have any conversions? Aw, they need to give this gun some love, like a conversion of some kind. Come on, come on gamers. Anyways, on to gun number three, the SA. 58 SPR. I've made two videos on this gun actually, but not in a while, not in a couple months. The first video I did was a fully review video, and then I made a video talking about just playing with it and saying this thing is insane. And this thing is super good. It does M3A1 damage, has a slightly worse max damage range, and the torso multi isn't the best, but the headshot multi is 2.1 one times it's more than the msg 90s is and it only does two less damage so it actually can one hit head to 50 studs which when it shoots that fast is insane do you understand the power of this gun the power that it holds you don't get it the recoil isn't even that bad like this is some good recoil wait what like the min is terrible like, it doesn't do a lot of min and it's kind of weird because even though it's a dmr it functions more like a really slow kind of battle rifle. I mean, it only does like two more men than the... What? Than the... What's the civilian... G the SL8. 
than the SL8. I don't know why I kept forgetting the name of it. It does only two more min than the SL8 does, but you know, it does have that headshot multi and it's not really for LRC, which is kind of stupid considering it's DMR, but like it does, it does like 60 headshot damage LRC, which isn't the best but it's not bad. Two hitting to the head all ranges isn't that insane, but you need to give this thing a go because it can be so strong for a DMR, like a one hit to the head to 50 studs. The power of this thing, you don't understand. For gun number four, we might need to go to a different lobby. It is the MP40. This thing's kind of insane when you think about it. Like it shoots 50 RPM slower than the UMP45. However, it does, I think the same max and same min. Doesn't have a torso multi but it has a 1.65 times headshot multiplier, which actually allows it to kill with one head, one limb to 50 or so studs, probably farther. This thing has like no recoil, so you can actually just put a muzzle booster on it and probably get like no difference in recoil. Obviously not no difference, but look, it's pretty accurate. I don't know what it is with these World War II SMGs and just being like stupid accurate, like L2A3, M3A1, MP40, they're all so accurate. Look. Well, actually, I just hit him two times in the head. Whoops. Although that will definitely do a, like a ton of damage, like probably like 140 damage. This can also three hit head all ranges, even though it's a five hit limb. And a five hit to the limbs, like that might not sound insane, but it's a PDW, so... Give it a break, man. I know the M3A1 has a four hit, but the M3A1, let's be honest, that, that gun is, uh, I think I've already done it in a video, so it doesn't really matter. The MP40, I don't have that many attachments, but in my free time, I have been using it a decent amount. It's pretty fun. You know, I only got 82 kills on it right now because uh, usually when I'm playing this game, I'm, you know, making videos, so it doesn't give me a lot of time to use the MP40, but it's fun. Give it a go. An LRC does 36 headshot damage, which is kind of insane. A five hit to a three hit with heads is very, very good. You don't really see that that often. Maybe a four hit to a three hit with heads, but no, this one is a five to a three hit, which is pretty, pretty strong. Like 1.65 headshot multi, kind of good. Anyways, the last gun that we're gonna do is the TAR-21. But don't people know about this? Uh, honestly, yes and no. When is the last time you've seen anybody like actually going off or maining a TAR-21? Not that much, right? But when you think about it, it can be just an HK416, but better? Not necessarily better. It doesn't do as much damage, but the but the max damage range, pretty good. And the multis are also pretty good. Like the Tar Tavor guns, they have some insane multis. They all have headshot multis that are above average, and they both have torso multis. Or all three of them do, my bad. What the heck? I just killed somebody from so far away. It also shoots at 850 RPM and more or less has the same hits to kill as the HK416 without hollow points, but seems to have less recoil. I don't know. It's really hard to tell, but I would say that like rotational recoil wise, this has less recoil. But yeah, the damage, it, it's not insane, but I would say the TAR-21 is really good. You should give it a go if you have it unlocked. I wouldn't recommend pre-buying it because let's be honest, it's kind of like the HK416 and if you know me, you know that I would say that the HK416 isn't really like worth your time that much. But yeah, if this thing did one more minute, it could four hit torso ranges, it does 22. If it did 23, it could, but maybe they should add that to this gun, make it a little bit better. But I would say as it stands, very good gun, so doesn't really need it. Like, if I really thought it needed a buff that bad, uh, I wouldn't put it in the underrated guns list, then I'd just put it in the low-ranked because uh, the bad guns list, which doesn't exist. If you want to see something like that, maybe I should do a list like that. I would say I could do overrated, but I already did top 10 overrated, and that pretty much sums up all the overrated guns already, so. But there are so many underrated guns in this game, so I don't actually need to, like, make one video and then never do it again. However, uh, what are, what are we at now? Like, 25 underrated guns? There's only, like, 120 guns in this game. I, I don't know if I can actually make that many more of these videos, because, like, what else am I even supposed to make ones about? I don't know, G11, Type 88, AKM? I, I don't even know, dude. Like, I'm gonna run out of guns eventually, so these videos while they last. I need to make a playlist for all of them though. I'll probably remember to do that sometime. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and a sub and I will see you in the next one. Peace.